Hello, tiny people within the confines of my computer. I'm Finn, and welcome back to How Finn Would Book, the show where I take a wrestling angle or storyline from now to the future, and I book it how I would like to see it. Now, remember throughout this, this isn't what I think will happen. It's what I want to happen. Today's episode is booking Dominic Mysterio as the World Heavyweight Champion. If you know anything about wrestling, you know that Dominic Mysterio is a chicken shit heel. If you don't know what a chicken shit heel is in wrestling, long story short, he's a bad guy who likes to cheat. He, he's not as strong as some of the other wrestlers, he's not as fast, he's not as experienced, but he gets his wins either by cheating or via distractions, things like that. So booking something like that as the world champion of a company comes with a couple little tasks, because you have to make him look good enough to be champion without burying the championship. So we're going to get into how Dominic Mysterio can hold this. Also, if you're wondering, as a wrestling fan, why I'm holding the 2003... 2002? The 2000's Undisputed title instead of a WWE World Championship, it's because I don't have the world title. So this is what, this is what I have for now. To get into it, uh, I wrote this... Well, I have bullet points. It's not like I have like a script... Uh, but I wrote this in February. Um, so if I touch on things that have happened in real life, I didn't steal that. And if I touch on something that cannot happen now, shut up, it's my booking, I can do what I want. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, two weeks out for Money in the Bank, there's one spot left in the six-man ladder match for the Money in the Bank contract. The triple threat match uh, goes on between Dominic Mysterio, Ilya Dragunov, and Sheamus. At the end, Sheamus nails Dragunov with a big boot, covers him, but he kicks out. As he kicks out, he turns, he gets low blowed by Mysterio, which isn't a disqualification because it's a triple threat match. He throws Sheamus out of the ring, nails a frog splash on Ilya, one, two, three, and he goes on. There's one week left until Money in the Bank, and there's two segments I want to point out on the show. The first segment is the world heavyweight champion, Damian Priest, who is having a back and forth for the, with the man he's going to defend against at Money in the Bank, who is his stablemate, Finn Balor. No heel turns, they're both friends still, but they're having a gentleman's agreement to have a match. That segment ends with Finn pointing out that uh, that Dominic is going to have a match where he might have a chance at being the world champion. Damien doesn't laugh him off, because that would be kind of like mean because he's in their stable, but he does point out that, sure, he might have a chance, but you have a shot this week. He has to wait. So they go back and forth, and then final segment of the night, uh, we get a commercial break, and when it comes back, there's six ladders in the ring, and there's a man on top of each of them. The first man is Drew McIntyre, the second is Jey Uso, then we have Carmelo Hayes, L.A. Knight, Randy Orton, and the most recent man to join the fray, Dominic Mysterio. They all list reasons of why they deserve to be champion. Randy Orton talks about how he's this close to getting to that Ric Flair record. He's this close to to being labeled as the greatest world champion in the history of wrestling. Drew McIntyre brings up that at WrestleMania, he had the match won, and then Damian Priest costed him everything. CM Punk costed him everything. And he wants another shot. Jey Uso talks about how he had a match with Damian, and he, he had him beat, but the Judgment Day ruined it. If I had the ability to choose when to go out there, I could be champ. LA Knight brings up that the fans are behind him. He is... He's the megastar. He's the one that should be the face of this company. Yeah! Come on. I'm LA Knight. Carmelo Hayes brings up that he's the greatest. He was NXT champion. NXT North American champion. He came up not 
for a better paycheck to prove he could be champion here, and he hasn't got the respect he deserves. Carmelo wants this. And the last man in the match, Dominic Mysterio, listens to all of them. He doesn't attack anyone. He sits and he listens. He shows a bit of maybe an opportunist in his brain, waiting to hear what each man says, wanting to know how to rile them up. And then he goes on a short rant. He, he blasts each of them. Because Dominic Mysterio gets booed a lot because he's the bad guy. I boo him. We hate the guy. But he can cut a pretty damn good promo when you give him a chance. And I think he should be given a chance more often. And here on this show, he does it. He takes it to Drew McIntyre, and he drills into him. And he, he, he says, Drew, you did win the world championship. You did. But then you went and showboated. You showed off. A man who you hate and who you know hates you, who you both have beef and you want to fight, you get in his face, holding something that he should have been there to get, and he attacked you. This is your fault. Damien had been talking about cashing in for months. You're not special. You got cashed in on because you were being an idiot. And Drew gets royally pissed, but he... He hits refrained. He doesn't come forward, but he thinks about it. Next, he, he goes off at Jay, and he says, You're not a world champion. You're a tag guy. You even got thrown out of your own tag team. You, you can't be world champion. Whenever you're up on the board, they're not going to go, Oh, it's Roman Reigns. Oh, it's Damian Priest. Oh, it's Seth Rollins. They're going to say, Which one is it? He goes off at Jay, and he continues to nail him. Carmelo steps up. Well... Damien, Damien, Dominic looks at Carmelo and he says, You're on the main roster because Triple H likes you. You're not here because you're the best. You're not here because you're going to be champion. You're here because you pop the guy in the back. That's it. Which I don't believe, I don't believe any of these points, other than the Drew one, because it's, it's factual. It is his fault. But the rest, the rest of these points I don't agree with. It's just him working to piss everyone off and also get the crowd against him. Uh... Next, he goes off on L.A. Knight, and he says, Last year, everyone wanted you to be Money in the Bank, Mr. Money in the Bank. Everyone. The fans, everyone in the back, hell, even my own stablemates. But you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. And last year, you were this close. And then a member of the Judgment Day cost you, and he's world champion. This year, you're going to be this close, and I'm going to cost you... And I'm going to be world champion. L.A. Knight, not as mad as the rest of them, but furious. And then he turns to Randy Orton. And he says, Randy, you were everyone's childhood. You were the legend killer. You've won this before. And hell, you could do it again. If I wasn't there. Randy, you, you have this dream of breaking that record and becoming a 17-time world champion. And you're this close. You've spent the past year on the shelf, and at Money in the Bank, I make sure that you don't ever get off of it. You're going to the top of that shelf, you're going to get dusty, and you're going to sit there. You're going to watch me become champion. You're going to watch me break records. You're going to watch me become the greatest of all time, and there's nothing you can do about it. The show goes off air with Randy Orton nailing an RKO on Dominic. He, like, pulls him off of the ladder and they do a cool spot. Uh, then Drew nails him with a Claymore. Uso nails him with a super kick. LA Knight comes over and nails a BFT on Uso. Drew tries to hit LA Knight, but gets nothing but net from Carmelo. And then Carmelo stands tall. LA Knight is off to the side. And they, they just stare at each other for a second. And as they run at each other, one gets dropped with an RKO, and the other gets a low blow from Dominic Mysterio. Mysterio sneaks up on Orton, tries to nail him, takes a second RKO. Orton stands tall. The show ends. At Money in the Bank, the very first match is the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And it goes 17, 18, 20 minutes. And towards the end, there are two people on two separate ladders. Randy Orton... Randy Orton is on one ladder, and Drew McIntyre is on the other. Dominic Mysterio sneaks up, nails a low blow on Orton. He falls. He throws Orton out of the ring. He climbs up. Drew's on this end. 
uh, Dominic's over here, and they're throwing blows at each other. At one point, Drew nails the Glasgow kiss to, to Dom. He falls back. He doesn't go off of the ladder. His legs are stuck in one of the rungs, but he's laid back. Uh, and Drew's reaching. He's this close to a shot at the world championship again. And CM Punk pushes his ladder over, costing him not once, not twice, but three times at a chance for the world title. Dominic reaches up, grabs the Money in the Bank briefcase, becomes Mr. Money in the Bank. Later on in the night, Finn Balor and Damian Priest have a matchup, and it goes 15, 17 minutes, and it ends where Finn goes for a coup de grace onto Damian. Damian slightly moves out of the way. Finn tweaks his ankle. Storyline, he doesn't actually get hurt. He tweaks his ankle, and as he turns, gets caught for a second south of heaven. One, two, three. The Judgment Day's music plays, and people are wondering, is it because Damien won, or is it because Dominic is coming out? Dominic comes out without the briefcase. He hugs Damien, he helps Finn up, he hugs Finn, and all three men start walking. As they get to the front of the apron, Balor turns, nails Damien with a low blow with his foot, turns, slaps Dominic, grabs him, throws him off the stage, and sets up another match between Finn and Damien. Dominic's written off TV for only a week. He He's really hurt from this, because the next night he's supposed to be on Raw and it doesn't happen. Damien Priest and Finn Balor go back and forth, and Rhea Ripley calls them both out and says, What in the fuck are you doing? Damien beats you fair and square. What are you doing, Finn? Finn goes on a rant. I was the first uni Universal Champion. I should be World Champion now. I had Seth Rollins beat until you cost me. And then, here we are, a year later, and you haven't done anything. You've been champion for... Well, how many months would that be? You've been champion for four months, and you've done nothing. You've, you've had us help you beat people. You haven't beaten anyone clean, and then you beat me, your own stablemate, and treat me like I'm lesser. They go back and forth, and next week, Dominic Mysterio is back. He comes out, and he, he puts his hand on Damien's shoulder, and he says, I promise I won't cash in on you. You can trust me. And they go back and forth. And then, at SummerSlam, there are two matches that matter. The first match being Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. And the opener of the night, Finn Balor versus Damien Priest for the world title. Damian Priest has Finn beat until J.D. McDonough slips into the ring and clobbers him. Just nails him in the back with the title. The ref is put down, so he didn't see it. Then J.D. gets out of the ring. Finn Balor looks down, realizes what time it is. He climbs to the top rope, nails a coup de grace, covers Damian Priest. One. Two. Just barely Priest gets out at three. Just narrowly before it, he he kind of hulks up. He's clobbering back and forth with Finn, clobbering back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until Finn nails him with a Pele kick, low blows him where the ref can't see it, lifts him up for the bloody Sunday, and then covers him one, two, three. Why the bloody Sunday? Because the old school bloody Sunday where it's sort of almost a paradigm shift, really. Lifting him up and just dropping on his neck. I feel like it's... It just fits the hatred that'll be built up in this rivalry. And he wins the World Championship. Later on in the night, Cody and Randy are fighting back and forth. Both men have hit cutters. Both men have done everything in their arsenal. Almost. Where my phone vibrate? Let me alone. Oh, Lord. Hold up. Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes are having an absolute fucking banger. Uh, they've thrown pretty much everything they have at the wall. There's been a crossroads. There's been an RKO. There's been a Cody Cutter disaster kick. They even did the fucking spot. Uh, trying to figure out what he calls it. Because Cody doesn't call it the same thing. Uh-oh. 
Now I'm bad at words. Okay, we'll call it the Vertebraker. He nails a Vertebraker on Orton and only gets a two. Orton throws pretty much everything at the wall, but they there's one thing he hasn't done yet. And we all know what Orton's big you can't do that move is. And it doesn't happen. And then he goes for an RKO, but Cody flipped him down and nails two crossroads for the one, two, three. Afterwards, he puts his hand out to get a handshake. Orton shakes his hand, pulls him in, RKO. After nailing the RKO, he goes to the corner and sets up and he punts Cody. And as he's walking down out of the, out of, out of the arena, Dominic's music plays and he comes sprinting. He's like, holy fuck, I'm going to be WWE champion. Orton just fucking RKO's him. It's like, fuck, no, you're not. That's mine. <laughs> I'm winning that from Cody. Fuck you. So then we get two builds on the move to Bash in Berlin. We have uh, Finn versus Damien 2. No, Finn versus Damien 3. And then Cody and Orton 2. Finn versus Damien is now... No disqualification. And at the, close to the end of the match, there's been a bunch of just crazy shit. JD McDonough runs out and is helping Finn beat on Damien. And Dominic comes out and helps Damien fight back. And it, it just seems like there's a brotherhood going on in this back and forth and back and forth. Dominic then nails Finn with the briefcase, takes JD McDonough out of the ring. Damien covers Finn after a South of Heaven. One, two, and a kick out. Dominic sits like, oh my god, what, what's gonna happen? We get a bloody Sunday, a coup de gras. One, two, three. Finn retains, and he doesn't have any respect for Damien. He doesn't have any respect for Rhea, and he doesn't have any respect for Dominic. The next world title match that we see is Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan. Because there's a lot of history there. Fuck it. This was recorded before their actual in real life rivalry. I wrote, I, not recorded. Uh, I wrote the stuff down, like my bullet points, in February. They didn't have a rivalry then. So calm down, people who were like, hey, what the fuck? Uh, but we see that match, and Dominic is ringside. Rhea wins. And then we have one more world title match for the WWE Championship. Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes with a special guest referee, Kevin Owens. Because Kevin and Randy have been going back and forth for months. At the point I wrote this, they were talking friendly. Now in real life, they just had a six-man tag with Cody. So there's a lot of stuff there. Kevin is your, is your ref, and he's a good boy. He won't do anything wrong. Close to the end of the match. Cody and Randy have been fighting with Kevin, even though they're fighting each other. And at one point, Randy shoves Kevin. He hits the ropes, and he takes a second, and then he nails Randy with an RKO. Not an RKO, a uh, stunner. And he sells it the same as he did the one he took from Stone Cold in the 2000s. You know the one where he fucking, like, bong flips and almost goes out of the ring. He hits that exact stunner. He then gets pulled into the ring... Crossroads. One, two, three. Randy lost, but he didn't lose clean. Builds their third match, which will be at... Uh, I'm trying to think of what, a, what pay-per-view would be Survivor Series, I guess. So, we've got that Survivor Series and the other Survivor Series world title match. Finn Balor... versus Gunther. Because look at Gunther. You're not going to give that fucker a world title match? Are you stupid? In real life, he's having one in like two weeks. I love that big fucker. When this comes out, it'll be a lot closer to him being in a match, actually. And on the build-up to both of these matches, De uh, Dominic makes it very evident that he doesn't have a deep care for any of these men. Orton made it where he couldn't cash in on Cody. Cody has fought the Judgment Day since he came back. Since he came back to the WWE. Finn turned on him and Damien. And Gunther, well, Gunther embarrassed him on television. He has hatred for all four men. And at, he promises 
He promises at Survivor Series, I'm cashing in. And I'm going to be World Heavyweight Champion. He doesn't specify if it'll be the WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship. He just says he'll be World Champion. The first match, uh, the first of the world title matches halfway through the card, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton 3, no disqualification. They're going and they're going and they're going. There's been three crossroads, still no pin. There's been two RKOs, no pin. There's been a spot through the table. There's been a bunch of leaps to the outside. There's been a vertebraker. There's been a Cody cutter. There's been a disaster kick. There's been a figure four. Neither man can get the other down until Orton brings out a baseball bat. A very specific baseball bat. It's wooden. It's covered in barbed wire. It's got like a rusted blood look to it. It's the exact, exact baseball bat that he took to the head of Mick Foley and that Mick Foley took to the head of him. Back then, he was the new guy. New guy. And Foley was the legend. He was the legend killer. Today, he's the legend, and he's making sure that his legend never fucking dies. He slams it into Cody's head once, twice, and then just brushes him with it a third time. Cody lays. We get a punt kick. One, two, three. Randy Orton is WWE Champion again. Now, does does Dominic run out? He comes, he's sprinting, he's sprinting, he's sprinting, he gets down to the ring. And before he enters, he just starts laughing. He turns around and he leaves. Main event, Gunther Finn Balor, World Championship. The match goes 20 minutes of both men just Beating the absolute hell out of each other. There has been no Judgment Day interference. Well, Judgment Day. No J.D. McDonough interference. No uh, Giovanni Vinci or Ludwig Kaiser. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. At this point, both men have used pretty much everything in their arsenals. There's been a coup de grace. There's been a bloody Sunday. There's been multiple shotgun drop kicks. There's been power bombs. There's been frog splashes. There's been a single leg Boston Crab. A little bit of a of a Kirafu to clutch done pretty much everything they could. And at one point, Balor's up, ready to nail a coup de grace. But Gunther starts standing. He jumps, lands on Gunther's chest to push down, but Gunther just stays up in the powerbomb position. He sets him on the top rope, clubs him across, chops him a couple times, chops him a couple times, chops him a couple times. He's fucking loopy, barely on the top still. Gunther climbs up, Sets him up for a powerbomb and just hoists him up. They're both on the top rope. Avalanche powerbomb. One, two. The fucking Judgment Day theme plays. Out comes Damian Priest. Why is Priest here? Why Priest? Priest runs out, gets into the ring, grabs Gunther, goes for a South of Heaven, nails him. Maybe he's helping Finn. Maybe there's another secret heel turn going on here. He then turns to Balor, grabs him south of heaven. And then he smirks directly into the hard cam. The music plays again, and out comes Dominic Mysterio. Gunther grabs Gunther. Not Gunther. Damien grabs Gunther, hoists him outside of the ring. He turns, looks down at Finn for turning on him, and... He says, all rise, as he simply leaves the ring to take Gunther with him. Him and Gunther kind of fight a little bit, but like Gunther's woozy from the match. Damien takes him, Dominic hops into the ring, cashes in, nails a huge fucking frog splash. One, two, three, and Dominic Mysterio is world heavyweight champion. He hoists it up, he runs around with it, he's so excited, out comes Rhea Ripley, who walks over, pulls him in for a hug, and then hoists him up while he holds his title. Then, on Raw, we get the moment. Him and Rhea are both world champion. So they raise their titles together, Damian Priest comes out, 
He is got a big dumb smile on his face. Not anything against I like Priest. He puts his arms around both of them, grabs their hands and pulls them up. The Judgment Day has both world titles again. But is there more dissension in the bloodline? Is Damien Priest going to turn on Dominic Mysterio? Nope. He's a good guy. Sure, Damien's... Sure, Dominic is a heel. Sure, Rhea... But Rhea's a good guy, and she's with Dominic, and then Damien's been a good guy for a while, and he's with Dominic. So they're all still friends. And Damien isn't mad at all. He's super proud of his best friend. And the first show where Dominic has to defend this world title is at the Royal Rumble. He defends against Finn Balor, the man he beat. And he beats him with shenanigans. At one point, the ref goes down, he nails Finn with the belt, nails a frog splash, one, two, three. But he, 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 he starts to pick up on this Am I world champion material? Because every single promo he has with somebody, they bring that up. You're not worthy. You're not ready. Gets it with Finn. At Elimination Chamber, he has an Elimination Chamber match where he starts it. And he has to fight through the whole thing. Low blows galore. Nails people with the title after having it handed to him. Puts people through plexiglass. But he walks away champion. And he doesn't pin anyone in that match except for the very last person... He pins Drew McIntyre, a multi-time world champion, a uh, one-time intercontinental champion, tag team champion, guy who has done it all. He pins. Clean. But then on Raw, he's told, you didn't pin me clean. You, you snuck around. I was fighting the whole match while you were running away and cheating. You didn't pin me clean. You snuck in and got a victory over somebody who had already fought a bunch of people. You're still not ready. So, on the way to WrestleMania, he has a match with Drew. He's had a show right before Mania. Uh, we're going to call it Over the Limit. I don't know. I can't think of a good one. Fastlane is doo-doo. So we're not doing that. But he, he has his match against Drew, and he, he's ready. He gets in there, and he, he tells Damien, Listen, I appreciate it. Don't interfere. He tells Rhea, You can be at ringside to cheer me on. Do not interfere, please. He gets into the ring, and they go at it. And slowly but surely, he's getting his ass beat, but he keeps getting up. He's still resilient. He takes a claymore. One, two, he kicks out. Crowd goes fucking stupid over it. Going absolutely crazy. Dominic starts punching the fucking mat as he gets up. And he's fucking fuming. He, he's fuming like 2012 Daniel Bryan. He's pissed. He fucking runs over, flips up, sets Drew up for the 619, hits him. Drew doesn't move. He, he takes the 619, but he stays in the ropes. He... Slams into the ropes again. Second 619. Drew stumbles. Falls back. He hops up on the ropes. Springboard. Frog splash. But he doesn't cover him. He pops off of the springboard. Runs up. Nails one off the top rope and beats him clean. One, two, three to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. And on Raw, he points out, I beat Drew McIntyre clean one-on-one. -on -one. I'm deserving of this. I'm worthy of this. This is mine. I have made this mean something. People online want this off of me. Why do they want it off of me? It's not because I'm a bad wrestler. It's because I'm the best. They want it off of me because they're afraid that I'll never lose it. They want it off of me because they're afraid that Dominic Mysterio will hold it forever. They're afraid that this is going to be in every single picture I take for the rest of my career. And they're afraid that at WrestleMania, 
I retain. They're afraid that I beat their fan favorite. They're afraid that Dominic Mysterio beats Gunther in the main event of WrestleMania. Gunther won the Rumble because, yeah, he fucking deserves it. So, you know, the 2025 Rumble, Gunther wins. And at WrestleMania, it's Dominic Mysterio as world champion versus Gunther as the challenger. And they have a back and forth for the fucking ages. Gunther brings up, you cheated in everything except for one of your matches from from November to now. You've, you've cheated in everything except for one match. You beat Drew McIntyre. Congratulations. I beat him three times. All three times clean, by the way. Once with Sheamus helping him. I won money in the bank. I am deserving to be champion, okay? You won a ladder match. I eliminated eight people and lasted an hour and ten minutes to win the Rumble. I'm deserving of this shot. You are just a stepping stone for my greatness. Dominic, people don't hate you because of your mullet. They don't hate you because you're a rip-off Eddie Guerrero. They don't hate you because you turned on your dad. Dominic, the fans hate you for the same reason I do. It's because you don't deserve to be here. And I don't mean world champion. You don't deserve to be in this company. You don't deserve to be on this show. You don't deserve to be part of the WWE. You didn't work your ass off on the indies. You didn't ha- you didn't have to handle the hatred and the hard times and the rough patches. You got here because of your dad. And then you pushed him away. And you've had little success since then until you cheated to become champion. So at WrestleMania, I remind you what it's like to have a father figure. And I remind you why a championship belongs to a champion. Because you need a new daddy, don't you, Dom? And Dominic Mysterio freaks the fuck out, gets pissed off, and runs at him, who he just chops. No no crazy move, no powerbomb, no suplex. No kick, just a chop. Dominic fucking plats straight to the ground. He gets up, and he's resilient. He fucking fights back until they're pulled apart by management. Gunther doesn't really get pulled apart. He just kind of backs up and listens to the management, whereas Dom is trying to fucking scramble through like a little piece of shit. And then at WrestleMania, in the main event, they have a 25, almost 30-minute match, and it's beautiful. After all this time, Dominic's playing fair. He's not cheating. He's not doing low blows. He's not poking Gunther in the eye. He's not getting somebody to come out. He's fighting fair. So much so that he politely asks Rhea and Damien to stay in the back. Don't come out. I want to do this myself. I want to prove I'm world championship material. And after going back and forth... He inevitably takes a third powerbomb from Gunther. One, two, three. Gunther's your new world heavyweight champion. And Dominic Mysterio has this moment of clarity. This moment of care, passion. The crowd genuinely caring about the fact that he was in this match, caring that he was in the main event of WrestleMania, caring that he was the world heavyweight champion. Dominic Mysterio has this moment of growth. Maybe maybe I don't have to be a bad guy. And on the Raw after Mania, he comes out He shakes Gunther's hand, he waves to the crowd, and he goes backstage. No foul play, no stupidity, no whining like a baby. Dominic Mysterio is a former world champion. 
He doesn't have to cheat. He doesn't have to climb the ladder to get to the top. Because that's bullshit. He's the son of a first ballot Hall of Famer. He is the world, the ex-world champion. Dominic Mysterio isn't just another guy who was brought in to make others look good. Dominic Mysterio is the future of the company. And he realizes maybe being the future... Maybe being the future doesn't mean I have to be the villain. And Dominic Mysterio turns face. Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio turn face. And going forward... For the foreseeable future, it'll stay that way. Obviously, later, Dominic can be a heel again. But I feel like after such a fun run, including a banger with Gunther to end it, in the main event of Mania, I feel like you can't have Dom leave the bad guy. Because Gunther's not leaving the good guy. We love Gunther, but he's the bad guy. So you let Dom turn, heel, uh, turn face for a while. Maybe he'll be world champion again someday. Maybe he won't. But that's not for me to decide. It's not for me to, to decide, not for me to make up. That's for you guys to tell me in the comments. Tell me, will Dominic be a world champion again? Tell me if you think he'll be world champion in real life. Do you think he'll be intercontinental or United States champion? Is he stuck forever in this jobber role? Does he get to main event pay-per-views? Does he win money in the bank, win a rumble, win a championship? Let me know what you think. But, for what it's worth, I want Dominic with one of these. Because I think he deserves it. He's been carrying the company on his back for the whole time he's been here. So I'll love the Dominic Mysterio.